Well guys, we got some exciting stuff going on right now. We are taking the last load to the new Garage Guys headquarters. Let's just see what we got going. Got the rail all loaded up. Got some more miscellaneous garage stuff. All spare parts and stuff for the rail. Got the whips. Got a new pressure washer. Shout out to Gage and his dad. Um, yeah, I'm about to take you guys over to the new headquarters and we'll check out what we got going. We have arrived at the new crib. Got the trailer backed in here. We're uh, storing this other trailer for the old UTV guys, but got her all backed in. Just taking some stuff out of the bed. Here is the first look at the new garage. Woo! We're still in the designing process, but we're gonna have a little workbench over here with the toolbox. We got the chill couch. We got some utensils. We got the trailer hitch. New garage guy sign. Shout out to my grandma. Things are gonna look sweet. Then over here, got the storage station, all the bins and stuff, some gas cans, whips, subwoofer. But this is what's gonna get exciting. This whole wall right here, it's gonna get blasted. We're gonna turn it into an RV gate. So both these trailers will be parked back here. And the plan eventually is to get concrete or pavers all the way out there. We're gonna relocate this roof and potentially have some more trailer storage over next to that RV gate over on that side. But yeah, I mean, this is some exciting stuff going on right here, guys. I'm gonna give you a quick little walkthrough of the crib. Best picture in the West, baby. Garage guy's office. We got door bags, we got tool bags, we got the internet, we got some stickers and stuff. We're gonna be shipping out now, baby. Shipping room. Check out this dune art. Woo! Damn! Pretty sick. But yeah, I'm gonna finish unloading all this stuff get the rail backed in here and then the garage will officially be as complete as it's ever been so here we go as you can see we did a little bit of a reorganization of the trailers we actually got both of them to fit through the side gate over here bang the reason we had to do this was because we had to make room for the newest toy that we brought home. Here she is, the 28 footer. We actually bought this about two weeks ago. Um, we've got a little bit of footage of when we were picking it up and what we had to do. So I'm gonna throw you guys back to that right now. We just picked up the new Garage Guys toy. Here it is, baby. 28 feet of fun. Let's go. We're still at the guy's house we bought it from. We were leaving and our tires were rubbing. So we had to take them off, do a little shaving. And hopefully we'll be on the road here soon. Let's see what's going on over here. She's looking. New boat owners, huh? Well, we were out enjoying a beautiful day at the lake, 
And I don't know if you can see any gas in our gas tank, but I sure as hell can't, and our motor can't either. We just got a tow back, and now we're gonna walk it on the trailer. Very unfortunate day for the garage, guys. Until next time. Guys, boys, you got anything to say? Try not to Well, we got the boat back from the lake after running out of gas, very unfortunately. Figured I should show you guys what the garage is looking like now. We got the sand car in, got some paddle tires. Still need a lot of organizing done, but at least getting things laid out a little bit. But it's looking good. The car really completes it. We are going to spend some time doing a little work on the boat. We got a new throttle that we just installed. It's a lot smoother now, which is really nice. We got a few new hose fittings and whatnot, and we are going to be utilizing the second gas tank now. This one is an aluminum tank that has never been used, so we are gonna run these two in line so we don't have this issue again with lack of gas. Well, yeah, and the next time you guys see us, we should be going to get metal for the new gate. So until then, adios.